Hey guys, welcome back to the Totally Random Talk Show. I'm your host, Trayson. And I'm your co-host, Max. Today, we have, we're going to make it a little longer, hopefully. We're going to talk about a couple of things. Staplers, oranges, wood, airports. Mm. Managers, professors, maps, refrigerators. See, this time will be a little interesting. We Before, we've kind of just thought of things go through our head, but we did a random noun generator. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, interesting. Well, let's hop right into it. We have staplers. Well, um, staplers, there's, there's actually a lot of different types of staplers. Mm-hmm. So you have stapler guns, oh, yeah. those things hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and you have just your classic paper staplers. You also have giant staplers for like cardboard and things. But um, all of them to me are the same because if you get stabbed with a stapler, they all hurt. Yeah, I feel like some staplers are more dangerous than others, but they all hurt, you're right. And like staple guns, those are usually used more in construction sometimes. And you would not want to staple paper with those. Oh no. Yeah, one time I was a teacher's assistant in, um, in school. It was, it's a class you could take. And I was stapling up papers and I stapled my finger. And I was like, hey, can I have a band-aid teacher? And he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I stapled my finger. It was, it hurt so bad. It was the worst thing I've ever oh, experienced. Yeah. Oh. oh, I hit when you staple your finger now. Ah, oh, that sounds horrible. Yeah, that's, I like stapled rest. straight through. Luckily, it's never yeah. happened to me. I stapled like it was going through both sides of my skin. I probably led you off, but <laughs> <Okay. laughs> our, our next, oh, is there anything else we have about staplers? Uh, no, I think we covered everything really quick because they hurt. Staplers are interesting. There we go. And oranges. Now, let's see. I love oranges. Oranges are delicious. I used to just bite the oranges and not even eat them. Like, just bite the juice. I don't know. It seems like such a waste. But now I don't do that. So, what's weird with oranges is people say there's not a word that runs with it, but apparently there is. It's called sponge. I don't know. It sounds ridiculous. But, anyways, oranges are interesting. Did the orange come first or the color? I don't know. Nobody will ever know. Well, people can just search up on Wikipedia or something. Uh, but Wikipedia doesn't know everything. That's true. I mean, yeah. But uh, I tried to make orange juice once with a bunch of oranges, okay? I thought it was going to turn out great. There was going to be no pulp because I hate pulp in orange juice. And I thought it was going to taste amazing. And uh, we didn't put any sugar in it because it was already <laughs> super sweet. And I tried it. It had way too much pulp. It was like worse than a smoothie. Oh. And it tasted terrible because there was no sugar. And oh, it was it was absolutely terrible. Yeah. I hated it. So we tried to drain out the pulp. Didn't work. So I threw it away because it was so nasty. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was it was not a good experience for me. That's why I just buy orange juice from the store. Yeah, the frozen cylinders, you just dump them out. (laughs) It's so much easier. And oh, have you ever had orange cupcakes? Mm. You cut open an orange, take out the the actual orange part inside it, so you just have the shell on the outer part, and then uh, you put like a pre-made cinnamon roll in it, not cooked, then you cover it with the top, and then you put it in the fire and uh, it makes it so good. You can put it in the oven too, so. Yeah, and I like chaga oranges. Some people don't, but they're pretty good. Yeah. You don't want to like eat a whole one in one day, you know, cause. They're good though. Yeah, yeah they're pretty good. I like getting them. I would them, binge you know, eat five of them. For Christmas, they're awesome. Next topic. We're gonna go through, through these a little bit quick we have a little special thing at the end. Or should we do it in the middle? 
Maybe. You never know. It'll always be random. Well, wood. Wood is very strange, but also very good. Um, it also covers what we talked about recently, tree stumps. Um, when people cut down trees, they leave the tree stump, but the actual tree they take with them to the factory, they make it wood, they make it paper, they make it whatever people make with wood. Yeah, and lots of houses use wood for their structure, stuff like that, and make fire with wood. See, fire is probably one of the most important things that's ever been invented, I guess, you know, discovered. But yeah, wood is probably one of the most important things that we've used now to get to our modern technology because it was used in so many other things. Absolutely. And then uh, airports. Yeah, airports. Oh my gosh. Okay. Airports could, you could either have the best airporting experience of your life or it could be horrible. See, one time we went to the airport and they delayed our flight by like four hours or something like that. And it was because of the plane didn't get to the other stop that was at in, I think it was Atlanta or something like that, on time. So we had to wait in the airport for four hours playing phase 10. It was pretty fun, but at the same time, it just gets oh. terrible. At staying at the airport that long is never fun. You no. can't really sleep there because they have small seats, you know? And I mean, I've never missed a flight, but I've heard people who have, and that would be horrible. I know a lot of people that have never even been on a plane yeah. or been to the airport. I feel I feel bad because first time I went to the airport I was pretty young, you know. Um, and I was so excited and I looked out the window at all the planes and I'm like, look at the planes! Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, and one thing that's interesting is they changed security a while ago and there are reasons for that, you know. Nine eleven happened and they needed more security on airplane or yeah, airplanes to be more secure. And so now you know, they like basically strip you down naked. <laughs> you just walk through the metal detector. You're like, you have water? Nope, no water for you. Uh, it's kind of funny, but yeah, I don't know. It's speaking good to be safe. of security brings us to employees, which then brings us to managers. Our next yeah, topic. Speak to your manager. <laughs> Said by many. Uh, yeah, uh, well. Say some entitled people go to the manager to get refunds for things that they probably shouldn't have. I don't know. And it's now become kind of a meme. But a manager probably holds a more important job than you know your average worker, which sounds kind of harsh. But if you think about it, they're very important. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And um, honestly, I think that every manager has a, a different job. You know, some of them yeah. have different, you know, duties and things they need to do, but all of them do one specific thing. They all like oversee everything else, and they're they're much higher. They're not the highest. Granted, they're not the CEO, but they're they're high enough that they can oversee everyone else. And so, I yeah. think that that is really fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then next we have professors. Professors are, I wouldn't say they're like managers, but they have a similar role to play, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? I think what's interesting is like in movies, they're probably a little different than in real life, you know? Like you could probably have, they're just like teachers basically, I don't know, for college level, university. And so, I don't know, it's interesting because I've heard of really good professors and really bad professors. Mostly, they're just higher level teachers who probably know the subjects a little better. But I don't really have much to add about them because I feel like we all kind of know. Most people probably listening have been to school and know that you can have a bad teacher, you can have a good teacher. And it also depends on the subject, too. So it's kind of the same with professors, too, because they're the same. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our, uh, our next topic is on maps. 
I no. think I'm in Minecraft. That's yeah. that's very true. Yeah. But uh, I think we're talking about different maps. Yes. Now, not a lot of people use actual paper maps anymore because they're outdated. You don't need to use them. In fact, most people don't even use a GPS. No one needs it. Everyone has a phone, you know, so they just yeah. pull up Google Maps or... Yeah, which is kind of GPS, but it's yeah. a little different than like GPS it's a lot you better. have in your car probably, you know. So I'd say that getting around has um, progressed over mm -hmm. the past 50 years even. And yeah. so it's very fascinating to look at because you know, you look back to like people ten years ago, and they probably used maps still. But now, yeah. we don't. We don't need to use that. We just use our phone, and yeah. it's so much easier. Yeah. Usually, I what usually happens is people use maps on their phone to get around. But then there's also different types of maps. You know, there's like maps of what this place probably would have looked like fifty thousand years ago, or the like blueprints. Yeah. Or also, yeah, that's true. And also, um, maps of like areas and where they've had natural disasters or certain weather events, you know, stuff like that. And it's a good way to record data because there's lots of different types of maps. So you can record data on where in different ways. And yeah, maps are good to use, but you're right. We don't usually use paper maps anymore. They're usually digital. Exactly. And now that brings us to our last topic, which could be digital. Refrigerators. They've come a long way, much like maps. They're, they're very much digital now. You can probably watch YouTube on a refrigerator now and go play some Fortnite with your boys. But, um, see, the weird thing about refrigerators is you don't really need it to be digital. Like, I feel like I wouldn't really use that. And it's just more expensive. And it does have some uses, but you don't really need that in a refrigerator. Exactly. It does show you, like, from the outside, the inside of your fridge, yeah. like the content. But what's the use? Just open the fridge. <laughs> it's right there. The handle is I think, in front of you. But I think teenagers have a similar instinct to just open the fridge and look in and close the fridge. I do that all the time. I open the fridge and I close it about five times <laughs> before I decide to move on to the closet where I open it and I look for more food. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a cycle of food. What's interesting about refrigerators is some of them have one door on one side where it's the refrigerator part and one door that's a freezer and some have freezer in the bottom and you open the top two doors and it's a refrigerator area but yeah like a while ago we didn't have as good of refrigerators and I'm sure like 100 years ago maybe even a little more 100 years ago it was called an ice box yeah people would just stick ice right next to their like meats or you know whatever and they're like hope it does good they had a shed that they kept their ice in <laughs> and ice all their shed. frozen food <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny to think about. Yeah. Salt up the meat really nice, just to preserve it even more. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, we have a very special thing for you today, right now. Right now? Right now? Yes. Yeah, right now. Well, the special guest we brought for you today is none other than Portland Boy. Yep, you know what it is. I'm here. See, he's a new music artist, right? Yeah. Yeah, brand new. Making, making his way. Making his way through. Br brand new on yeah. the market, but I've been making music for a long time. Yeah. So I've been studying the game, just been learning what I got to do, and I feel like I got something to prove, you know? That's well, awesome. Well, you can listen to Portland Boy on Spotify, is that right? Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, I'm even on YouTube. Yeah. It is spelled a little different. It's spelled P R T L N D B O I. So make sure that you catch that. Yeah. And we'll repeat that one more time. P R T L N D B O I. Right? Is yeah, that correct? That is correct. There we go. Yeah. See, I mean, I have to be honest, I don't really like rap music, but I do like the songs you make. You do good Phenomenal beats. job. Yeah, yeah. Very good for how you do it, you know, and you manage. 
Yeah. I think making music is kind of hard because, first of all, there are some people that get you know big, huge deals with music producers, and these music producers have like the best stuff. Yeah. But you know, you don't really have that, but you're still making just as good music. So, yeah. yeah, I oversee all components of my music making. So I produce, I songwrite, I sing, I promote, I do everything. But the thing about that is I get 100% of everything that I do. So everything that I've made, I get 100% of it. Yeah. So that's the great thing about being your own music artist is you get to control what you do. And I feel like that's a really important thing to have. Yeah. You can be more creative because there's some music artists where they have a great voice, but what happens is these producers just write the songs for them and they sing it just to make money. See, but music could be a bit more than that. Music should be something that you enjoy. It shouldn't be something you do for money. Although that is a great thing to do on the side, it's something that's wonderful and incredible to enjoy. Nicely said. Do you want to say anything, Tracen? Um, well, I'd just like to add that making music is hard. I've tried, and it is very hard. So um, I'd just like to say that what Portland Boy does is, um, you know, he's like, he's like a role model of mine, you know. It's just amazing job doing everything himself because it's very hard to manage doing everything. So, yeah. And we also know him a little closer than some people would, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's about it for today. We have a little bit of a longer episode, not too long. I think we've had one that's longer, maybe not. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy. You want to finish off? Stay random. Also, I'd like to promote my album, which is dropping this week, Friday on July 3rd. Oh, yeah. It's called Making My Way to the Top. I'd appreciate a listen, so make sure you go and check that out. Check it out. Stay yep. random, boys. Yeah, stay random. If you listen from Spotify, you could go over to his music, too. So that's pretty cool. Be greatly appreciated. See you guys next time.